All right, guys, so I wanted to take a look at our girl, Android 21, in her transformed state right off the bat. So, you know, using kind of the private server, we're able to see some of these transformed characters uh, as though, like, you know, we would go into the battle with them actually transformed. Uh, you know, because we have the normal Android 21 right here, and then, of course, you know, after four turns, there's a, what is it, a 30% chance uh, for her to transform into, you know, uh, her form after she eats Cell, basically. Now, once 21 transforms into this state, she is very, very powerful. She does get an attack and defensive buff of 130%, so she is more than able to handle her own. Uh, since these units just came out on global, I figured this was a perfect time to kind of see this, you know, how well... Uh, <laughs> of course, as is always the case with showcases, uh, we got the 21s in slot 1, 7, and 6. Okay, so, uh, I guess we're gonna try and get them on the second slot then. Okay, now, we're gonna also take a look at Android 17 here. Now, I've used Android 17 extensively, uh, since he has come out on JP. I mean, a lot of you guys know I've done nothing but praise him. Android 17 is, like, they released the unit in future Gohan, who just doesn't do much at all. He's not impressive, really, in any way. And then they also released a unit like Android 17, who excels in so many different areas, does so many different things. Like, Android 17, I, I think, is a good model of what Dokkan Fest units should be. He's got a good team, he's got good links... Uh, he's able to do good damage. There's not really uh, a weakness for Android 17. Now, the thing about Android 17 and 21, too, that I really like that they did is both of them are capable of being leaders uh, for the Android category team. Now, you know, the better leader for sure is Android 17. There is no doubt about that. He is just a much better unit than Android 21. That's just the way it is. But... Let's say you, you don't get lucky, you know, you don't pull 17, but you do get 21. You can still run a proper category team with Android 21. She has a 150% uh, buff to all stats. So it's still, you know, basically the exact same, uh, you know, as if you were running like a Realm of Gods team. Or, you know, the Universal Survival Arc team or something like that once Jiren awakens on Global. So, uh, I... I I really like that they did that. I am hoping, again, that they will release, uh, s like, another leader for several different category teams. So, so she's sitting here at 1.4 million. Of course, this is a 100% transform Android 21. Again, I, you know, I'd like to see what she's going to look like. Okay, so, seven. wow, 17 is actually above her right there. That's impressive by 17. Uh, I want to see what happens uh, with maybe the uh, other SCR Android 21 on the rotation. And then in Android 21 as well. So the three of them uh, on a rotation, that would basically give uh, Android 21 all of her links active. And then, of course, we would have the Int 21 giving the, what does she give, 30% uh, to Android category units. So that's going to be very, very good. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's just go ahead and push uh, Android 21, the, you know, the non-transformed uh, one. Let's push her off rotation. So that way, uh, in a couple turns, we're going to have all the 21s on one rotation, which will be very, very good. Uh, in the meantime, we'll let Cell and 17 kind of handle business here. Now, specifically for global players, too, uh, in terms of STR Cell, STR Cell is more than capable uh, of being, you know, a strong contributor on, you know, the Android category team. Eventually, when Tech Cell gets his easy A, he is better. No doubt about it, Tech Cell is a lot better than SCR Perfect Cell. So you do want to go for him uh, over the SCR one. But, you know, it, let's say you, you have SCR Cell Rainbow, you know, maybe you only have one Tech Cell or no Tech Cells. It, it's not the biggest deal, but Tech Cell is definitely uh, a superior unit uh, to our boy uh, SCR Cell. And then, of course, I'm, I'm presuming... That Global will probably get LR Cell before LR Bardock because Global got the Android category so early. So when LR Cell comes out, I I've seen a lot of people 
uh, very much kind of underrate, I think, uh, LR Cell. He is very good. He, he, is, <laughs> he is a summonable LR in terms of power. And on the Android category team, he really is able to do a lot. Uh, it's very easy for him to super. Oh, 21. There you go, my girl. Uh, he does uh, have an AoE super. Okay, 1.7 right there. That's pretty good. I think with SCR 21 on the rotation, we probably could get Android 21 over a 2 million attack set, which is very good for a unit that's not a Dokkan Fest exclusive and is not an LR. So yeah, it does look like 17 is able to get higher than her. That's not really too much of a surprise. So again, Android 17 is just a phenomenal unit, right? Uh, no surprise at all there. Um, okay. The other reason 17 is just so damn good is that three key passive from him, just this team, you just don't have any key issues whatsoever. Like, you could kind of just use any androids you want. The team is completely overflowing with key. That's why if Super Boo, the new transforming Super Boo on JP, if he had, like, a key passive, like, that's mainly, the category is mainly just, you know, a, like, a Big Bad Bosses category. Like, like say Big Bad Bosses, think of units that have Big Bad Bosses. That's essentially what Super Boo's category is. If he had any sort of key passive... That team would be incredible because you could do such a wild combination of Boo, Frieza, and Cell cards to really, really make the team very, very interesting. Uh, okay, so this is the rotation we were looking for right here. Um, okay, so I feel like SCR21 would probably finish uh, Sin Shenron off in one hit, but I don't think the Int one would. So we'll do this. Uh, here we're going to be able to see exactly how powerful uh the transformed one can get well so let's see what kind of attack stat numbers she's going to get uh on this rotation with the in android 21 as well as the normal 21 again this is something you can realistically get as well uh i think we're gonna have big bad bosses active also that's, that's the thing we're gonna have big bad bosses active yeah we sure are okay so this is completely 100 percent maxed out two million okay so with Big Bad Bosses active, uh, 21 can indeed get over a 2 million attack stat. There we go. That is very impressive, I think, from Android 21. Uh, a non, again, non Dokkan Fest, non LR card that's able to hit that level of power is <laughs> pretty impressive. So uh, I, I really like what they did with her. Hopefully, again, uh, I, I wonder if they might just be too scared. If they are to release secondary leaders for some of these categories, it probably will be LRs. Because I wonder if they would be, you know, too scared to release, let's say, a Dokkan Fest, uh, you know, Majin Vegeta, who is a uh, Majin Buu category leader, right? Like, would they be scared to do that? I don't know. I feel like people, like, that would sell very well, right? Like, if then we had a Majin Vegeta Dokkan Festival event to go through, too. Like, I don't think they shouldn't do that. There's no reason for them uh, not to go ahead and do that. Uh, plus, I think the team that needs it probably the most uh, is the Hybrid Saiyan category team. Uh, that is a team that is just hurt incredibly badly by the makeup of its team. Like, if you had... Uh, a prepared for battle hybrid saiyan leader you know I, i've said before like a uh, spirit bomb sword rage trunks that would that category would be so interesting man that, that's just something I, I hope they do consider doing i think they will and speaking of that like i, I really hope merge zamasu or spirit bomb sword rage trunks can be some of the next units to get uh, uh cards or revamps because like merge zamasu and rage trunks like they're they're just at the point, I talked about this before, but they were just at the point, like the cutoff point of where cards have stayed very relevant, right? Like all the 120% leaders are still like very valuable, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, SDR Janemba, uh, Angel Tech Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Physical Gotenks. They're all like incredibly useful to where I don't think like a lot of them need like another upgrade, but like Int Blue Vegeta... Merge Samasu and Int Spirit Bomb Sword Rage Trunks, those three, the last three to come out before Super Saiyan 4 Goku, definitely 
needed revamps, uh, stronger versions. We got that for Imp Blue Vegeta uh, with uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta. Hey! So we're gonna get the, we're gonna be able to see her transformation as well. Oh, the licking of the lips! No, oh, 21 is the goat. Let's go. Perfection right there. I love it. That is the perfect way to finish up with her transforming. Again, uh, if you you can run a double Android 21 uh, sort of Android team, and you can have her transformed and non-transformed version linked together. Uh, that That is a very effective strategy uh, with the pure Saiyan team to have a rotation of both blue Vegeta leaders because in my experience, usually one of them always transforms uh, like quickly and then you will have a rotation of the two blue Vegetas together. So uh, for certain leaders and teams, uh, that will work. I, I feel like it could even work with the uh, Realm of Gods team because uh, both of the UI Gokus link up together since one is Ultra Instinct Sign and the other is just, you know, Ultra Instinct. So, all right, but here is our girl 21 with the explosion. One other uh, thing to point out is that uh, before she transforms, she heals on super attack. So if you get an additional, you will uh, heal twice. But after she transforms, she heals from her passive. Like, she kind of swaps. Pre-transformation... She lowers enemy attack and defense in her passive and heals on super. And then transformed, she lowers enemy attack and defense on super and then heals from her passive. Like, those two things uh, just kind of swap like that. So, that is another thing to consider. That's another reason the Android team is so strong, by the way. Is if the enemy is capable of having their attack or defense lowered, uh, it's going to activate non-stop. Because all these fuckers pretty much have it. Like... So many of these units are able to lower attack and defense and stuff like that. So, there we go, guys. There's what Android 21 can do at her full power. Here's what she would look like uh, if, she, you know, we were able to have her transform from the start of the fight. Uh, one of my favorite units in the game. Absolutely love this girl right here. Android 21. Damn! Alright, thanks for watching, y'all. I'll catch y'all next time.